Hello YouTube, DX Porker here with you. Been seeing a lot of videos where guys is updating their EDC, so thought I would uh, go ahead and do a quick video on the stuff that I carry every day. Uh, you know, a lot of the stuff's familiar here. Everybody carries it, uh, and then some of it's unique for uh, for the things that I do throughout the day. Um, I got quite a bit of stuff, and you know. It, it's hard to keep up with, but you know I do carry this stuff every day. It doesn't uh, matter what vehicle I'm in. Uh, I move it from vehicle to vehicle. Sometimes my wife and I swap out uh, vehicles. Really, just depends on who has the baby for today as to who has what vehicle. But well, we'll start out with uh, the stuff that's on my person every single day, no matter where I go. And that would be, start out with the keys, whether it be the keys to her car or my car. Also, uh, on the keychain, got a little Leatherman Micra. Handy little tool to have. And, of course, we got our, our iPhone. It's pretty much useless around here where I live because we don't have no 3G service. Way to go, AT&T. Thanks a lot. And, of course, the carry a pen. You know, this happens to be from my light hobby. That was the name of the company, S&P Electronics. And I carry this little gadget here. It has uh, small screwdrivers on each end. Got Phillips and flathead, small and large on this side, and Phillips small and large on that side. Then there, this is my my primary blade. It's Kershaw. Flash, really nice, sharp out the box, inexpensive. Then I have my fire department badge, which, as you can tell, it's a it's a chaplain badge. I'm also the fire department chaplain, and I am the chaplain for Nicholas County here in West Virginia. So this badge gets me uh, in and out of hospitals and and what have you, relatively easy if people's in in need of some prayer so that helps get me in and out of there so I carry that with me every day and it's always good to have a, a backup phone I have a backup phone simply because you never know if AT&T is going to uh, function or not around here so here's me a, uh, just a little track phone I keep 300 minutes on it and uh, just use it whenever I need it and then in this we have my little wallet. Of course we have money, debit cards, and have my concealed weapons permit and my West Virginia driver's license. Next item is a radio. I always have a radio on me. Uh, I have numerous, but uh, I like to carry this one because it's a uh, it's a small one. It's a Motorola EX500. It's a little 16 channel radio. Uh, with the job I have, I work for the 911 center and the fire department, so you know, I can talk just about anybody at any time I need to. Of course, can't leave home without that. Got to have that nasty habit. And being a diabetic, got to keep my glucose pills with me in case the sugar drops. And then I have a Phobos paddle holster that holds my uh, Streamlight Stryon C4 extra magazine and then of course my Glock you know, a lot of you guys are not Phobos fans but you know I really enjoy the Phobos holster uh, I don't like the the paddle in the holster as much uh, I like it I like it on the on the belt loop so this is uh, the Glock 19 it's the one I carry on a regular basis it's the one I I guess you could say shoot the best but I'm, I'm pretty accurate with this gun, so it, it's my all-around favorite. But depending on the mood I'm in, I could switch over to the the Glock 23, 40 caliber. And of course, I do have a paddle holster for that, but it'll fit in that holster as well. And if I'm going somewhere where I'm going to be walking the mall all day long, want something tucked in really close, I'll take the Gen 4 Glock 27 in a leather holster made by Texas Leather Company. Nice fit, 
puts it snug up against the body, real comfortable. So it's one of the three, but primarily it's the uh, Glock 19. And uh, another another fun bag will be this uh, backpack I carry. Has a backup blade in it. Carry the uh, Smith and Wesson sort. Love this knife. Really sharp, assisted opening. Really, really enjoy it. And then carry some uh, some tools. Carry these uh, blue point wire strippers, and they also have pliers on the end. You never know when you we need to tinker with something. And then I carry a set of screwdrivers, snap-on fan, big snap-on fan. Do another video another day on all my snap-on tools. That could take a while. But it's got an assortment of uh, screwdrivers, Phillips flat, got some Torx bits, and some little picks. Nice handy little set to have with you. Compact, fits in the side pocket there on my bag. So it's tucked in and out of the way. And like I said, I carry this stuff with me every day. And here's, of course, is the iPad. It's where I do most of my YouTubing. So um, for whatever reason you know Apple they don't like uh, flash player so I have to use the app I don't get to visit your channels a whole lot so uh, I have to use the app it comes in the with the uh, Apple stuff and then of course there's my Toshiba laptop and basically everything else that's in the uh, backpack is cords charging cords adapters etc etc then we have my camera system. I carry the Nikon D3000 along with my handy little Sony Handycam that I'm recording the video with. But I love this camera. This camera is awesome. It takes wonderful, wonderful pictures. You know, outside of being just the chaplain for the fire department, I also do photography. And I've got several thousand pictures from uh, you know incidents calls what have you inside this bags various different uh, lenses zoom lenses and some filters and then I have a uh, uh, very very nice um, flash unit goes on top of this uh, D3000 of course it has its its own little flash but sometimes it's just not bright enough and uh, have to resort to something that puts out a little more light. But all in all, great camera. Love it. I've had it a little over a year now. Like I said, I've taken many thousands of pictures with it and extremely happy. And then last but not least is my chaplain gear. It's a whole nother, whole nother briefcase and it's plumb full of uh, situations that we may encounter in a struggling world today when you come up on the scene of an accident you got people suffering and you know we have a major highway that goes through our area US Route 19 lots of wrecks on it a lot of people devastated and unfortunately we have fatalities in it and and that's where I come in with my chaplaincy I come in and pray for the people and try to get them try to get them a, a place to stay temporarily while you know they make arrangements for a vehicle and you know so that also works out for when their house catches fire I do I do the same thing things full of materials of course you don't go anywhere without your Bible check out how cool that thing is camouflage holy Bible everyone should have a Bible and then I got all kinds of little little books for for prayer and promises for when you're struggling you know just search for a topic and it gives you Bible references but uh, you know I really enjoy being the chaplain I love helping people and I love spreading the Word of God uh, you know I'm not the type of guy to to force it down your throat I'm always just a phone call away and all the people know that if they want to talk you know I mostly listen and then if they ask about God I will gladly tell them but I don't try to force it on anyone because there's everyone each to their own but uh, 
that's just a little bit and that's not including I got another bag but I didn't bring it in here because it's too heavy and that's with my fire gear it's a huge bag has my bunker coat pants boots and my fire helmet and a, another flashlight in there I didn't bring it in because it's just it's just too heavy to tote around but you know these four bags are with me every single day now all this stuff is on my person no matter where I go but these are always within arm reach just in my vehicle but hope it didn't bore you to death but that's that's my EDC system hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, thanks again to all the subscribers I know I got quite a few from my, my business for the lights and sirens installation but I've met a, a lot of nice people uh, throughout the YouTube community now that I'm starting to do some of my weapons and you know I have a lot of fun with it so I hope I don't bore you I don't I don't have the best voice for it but you know I speak from the heart most of the time but uh, that's it for now take care God bless it is what it is